Hey everyone, Mike Bagani here. I'm uh, going to do a quick introduction to layout. This will allow you to take your 3D SketchUp model and um, create 2D presentation drawings. Layout comes with Google SketchUp Pro. I'm running the current version, which is version 8. So this will be just a quick introduction. I'll show you how the pieces fit together and uh, I'll hopefully do some more in-depth um, demos at a later date. So we open Google Layout and Google Layout has a <clears throat> essentially 2D um, page system. You can set up your paper. This particular setup is for 18 by 24. I have a title bar, I have text, and I have a 3D model. This um, 3D model window is actually a window into one of my SketchUp models. I can set that to scale. I can zoom in, zoom out, I can have it set to a specific scene, and I can actually change the style that is representative of the model in that view. So this is my cover sheet, and then I have various sheets you'll see as we click through the various pages. <clears throat> Foundation and footer plan. First floor framing plan. This is a walkout barn. Post plan. Bent one, all the way on to bent four. And what you're seeing here is this is a live view into my SketchUp model. <clears throat> so I can actually adjust this particular view <clears throat> should I need to. So how does this all work? Well, we have a <clears throat> SketchUp model. In the SketchUp model is I've uh, modeled my frame with my steel steel beams below. I've modeled my foundation. I've modeled my footers. Um, pretty much any detail that I might want to show in the model, I actually have my 2D decking in here. This is my um, joinery model. What I've done is I've taken my original model and saved it out as a joinery, so I'm going to open up the original model. <clears throat> this model has all the various views that I might need in my layout document. So if I go to section two, this view here is what's represented in section two in my drawing. So I've applied the notes and the details over the actual real model view. So how's this set up? So this is set up with a series of layers where I can control the visibility. So I have my ceiling deck is on and off, my floor deck is on or off, and then I have various um, layers for filling in the holes in the SketchUp model. So you can actually see inside the timbers. So this is section two, it's turned on. I have all my steel here, and I have my I have what I call a whiteout block, which is just a white rectangle that I hit the edges on. That will hide. Sometimes things stick into the model from behind. So if I go to my section two again, we'll see that it will hide the things behind it. Um, I also have various section planes turned on and active. So section two is cutting just in front of the area that I want to show. If I go to my section three, have a similar cut setup. This happens to be cutting through the stairs. So in this case I'm using <clears throat> my layers to control the actual um, groups that are blocking out the various timber components so that I get a clean look so we don't see inside the timbers. 
and I'm using them to control things like the foundation, the decking, etc., etc., etc. So my model, back to my overview, is composed of the overall model, various whiteout sections to highlight or hide certain components or views, and then it has what I call my section cut faces, which are details for filling in various elements to hide or to show off certain bits of my joinery. Um, so if I was to show you the first floor framing plan, <clears throat> you'll actually see that I cut right through the posts here. And if I was to turn that layer off, you would see down inside the post, but I like to show an X on my post plan. So in layout, my post plan is here. You can see that this will match my first floor framing plan. So anything I want to show, I save it to the scene with the style that I want, with the layers that I want turned on or off, and when I bring it into layout, that same view is expressed here below, and then I have various other layers over my framing plan. So I have the dimension layer, I have notes for solid blocking, notes for the pressure treated sill and the bolts, I have notes for the Simpson straps and the steel, I also added a grid line so that I delineate which are the reference faces for the bents. Um, if we go look at, at section two, I've added notes for joinery. Bent one will be a good example. So I've added notes for joinery. T, tenon is four inches. The housing is a half inch for square rule. Tenon is two inches off of the face and it's two inches thick and there's two pegs. So I also I'll always add one of these little 3D views so in my SketchUp model, if I was to look at my bent one, I also sent up a, a view called B1XX, and that's my perspective view. And it helps to orient you in the frame so that you can see what's happening around that section that you're detailing. So this particular page, bent two, this view is again a live view of that model um, and a specific scene setup. These are usually done in perspective, or just my, my style perspective, and they show off uh, where the various, where this cut is showing in the model so that you can see sort of what relates to it. It also gives you a sense of which side of the bent you're standing on for reference. So if we were to go down now and look at some of the joinery details, I actually will pull my model apart and I'll save this model as a separate SketchUp model, and then I will detail the joinery. So if I go look at the steel, so this is the steel at the back pier, this is the middle column at the top, so looking all the way out in my model, I've pulled apart various timber components. So I have my rafters here, and my braces, and if I go to my rafter, This view and this model back to layout will be this particular sheet. So these dimensions live over the model, over the view, and um, SketchUp Layout is smart enough to know which scale I'm working in. You can also modify that. So this particular page is done one inch to the foot. So I can detail the peg locations on the braces. I can deal, detail the tenon at the top of the um, rafter. I can detail the tail cuts and the, the bird's mouths. Similar for the joinery, if I go back to my SketchUp model, I'll have my joinery. So this view then becomes this window into that model. So these notes live over the top, they kind of float, and I can change and point those things out. This particular view down here, again, back to my SketchUp model, I can call, I can go up to Bent Tenon, and I've pulled apart the model and saved a view saved a scene called Bent Tenon. Same with Pearl and Scarf, and the same with the Plate Scarf. 
So what this is allows me to do is to really create some rich drawings for how these <clears throat> components fit together. And I've done this for um, Simple Barns, which is this project. I've also done um, more complicated projects such as the um, <clears throat> The Poland project. <clears throat> so the Poland project again various views of my model and then I've pulled apart specific details within the model off to the side so that I can show how certain connections work. This is the particular um, schematic for how the, the project is going to hang in the museum per Fire Tower Engineered's um, calculations. <clears throat> The bridge was another great example showing off how I can create sort of a rich set of drawings. So we're able to cut apart sections and show how the various um, hold downs work. <clears throat> a detail of the braces and the brackets. Also able to show the various steel connections. So how the washers and nuts relate to the components, which is a great way for folks working on a project, whether they're experienced pros or whether they're working with something new for the first time, to see how these uh, particular structures fit together. So again, I have a SketchUp model set up with various um, scenes in various styles, and I use my layers to control visibility of my certain elements, also my cut faces or detail faces. Um, I could color those black, I could X through, etc. And I have various views then get brought into layout. From the live model and then I can annotate <clears throat> those models put live dimensions over them. Um, show off how various components might fit together and hopefully create a successful project. So again, this is Mike Bagani. Thanks for watching.